Okay, I think in this series we've probably gone over all of this more than once. But they wanted me to put, talk just a little bit about water base, solvent base, and oils. Just make sure everybody understands. Um, I think I guess if we needed to, we want to classify the oil base, the oils, and the water and uh, the lacquer as a solvent base because they have solvents. Now, of course, the lacquer thinner it's got lacquer thinner, lacquer. The oils have typically mineral spirits. Um, they're still a petroleum product. And both of them sh share a lot of similarities. One, both of them, and all of these have a certain amount of hazard to them. The lacquer, of course, you have to, I mean, it's all kind of different things. It's got all kind of chemicals to it. Uh, and it's extremely flammable. On the other hand, the oils aren't near as flammable, but they are. But they are. They, they're they're not as volatile as the lacquer, but they are flammable. Let me put it like that. The other thing with the oils is that we have the spontaneous combustion issue, meaning you know if you wad up a bunch of rags, whatever, and you throw them down, they can catch on fire. Um, the oils are not as, they're not going to create fumes and as much as the lacquers, okay, but they do. They all do to a degree. The water-based products are far safer. Now, do you still, yeah, you still need to take precautions. They're not flammable, but you need to take precautions. You don't want to be breathing the vapors and everything like that, but they're not near as toxic uh, as the lacquer. And so if, if you had to put all of these into a category and say, okay, from the most dangerous up, the lacquers, then the oil, then the water base. Um, and depending upon your environment and your working ability, what's the easiest to use? Well, that's going to leave a question of skill and equipment and so forth so on. Nothing's e there's no finish easier in the world to apply than a wiped oil finish. Simple as that. You know, you wipe it on, let it dry, wipe, wipe another coat on, and you just keep wiping it or you can brush it until you get the look that you want. Pretty simple. As long as you don't have a bunch of runs and drips and you're wiping it on pretty smooth, you know, the, the most one of the most idiot-proof finishes in the world is wipe a coat of oil on, let it set a minute, wipe it off, let it dry, and continue. Because what's going to happen is you're leaving such a thin film down. I mean, it's going to take you numerous coats, but, you, you know, you're not going to be getting a bunch of debris. You're not going to be getting runs and drips. And when it looks good, it is good. That simple. Now, that said, that I'm going to be the first to tell you that that depends upon the oil that you're using. And in this case, we've got Armor Seal or a Formby's Tongue Oil or one of those. These are good drying oils. And that's what you want. You know, again, boiled linseed oil and tongue oil, they will give you a good looking finish. There's no doubt about that. They will. They're not as near as durable as these are, and they're going to take you forever because they dry so slow. But they look good. You know, um, oil finishes, I see guys taking, they'll take uh, something like boiled linseed oil into that, they'll add a urethane, you know, this is a pure urethane oil, and then they add mineral spirits, a third of each, and they put it on the wood. It's going to look fantastic. It's just going to look, it's going to be gorgeous, right up to the point it dries out. And when it dries out, then maybe not quite so much. You're not going to have near the durability. But that's an oil finish. A lacquer finish, depending, and we've done a segment on lacquers, you know, this is just a nitrocellulose lacquer, and it's probably one of the easiest finishes to spray on. There are. And then you come to your water base finishes. Water base is where it's all going to wind up sooner or later, whether we like it or we don't. Uh, so it's something you want to get used to and become familiar with. Now, we could break these down, and we've already done a segment on lacquer, and we'll do 
and the oils again we've got a segment on that so when we get to the water base again this is a chem aqua plus it's a sherwin williams product it's basically just an acrylic uh its counterpart in the in the lacquer would be a cab lacquer cab lacquer it's an acrylic lacquer um in the case of the water base you've got poly acrylics which is a little bit of polyurethane and an acrylic they make for a good finish and now you've got the oil modified urethanes and whatever out here so the water base has come a long way and it's going to continue to go a long way uh, these have been the staples the lacquers and the oils have been staples forever uh, the new oils are far superior to the old oils let me clarify that and the reason for that is, is because of government regulations and so forth so on you take for example most of your boiled linseed oils they're not boiled and most of your tongue oils they're adding dryers and whatever to, to get around all of that so you the, the finish that you that our forefathers used is not what you're buying it's changed considerably so the newer oils it's got the urethane resins and 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 things like that in it and the alkyd resins and whatever they're just far much better the far much more superior you know here's uh, armor seal uh we, we've got it on floors stairs ed, ed you've got it on brazilian cherry stairs you use armor seal all the time if you guys are laying a floor or something to touch up or to don't you yeah. i mean and it, I mean, it holds up like crazy. I mean, it really, it, it does a good, I, I personally, I'll, I'll, I'll just put it like this now that we're talking about it. Uh, this is Armor Seal. I've used the poly, the Minwax poly, and the Formby's Tongue Oil as well. Uh, there are several others. This is one you're going to see, we'll be talking more about. And when I did the um, Morris chair, I used some of this. This is one that System 3 is developing, and I've been testing, and it's a, uh, it's actually a spar varnish. It's an exterior, but I'm going to tell you what, it's pretty nice. In as much as tough finishes, I don't know anything beating the armor seal. I don't know anything beating that spar varnish. That's just a fact. But I will, huh? It says, yeah. Yeah, there's close to bullet. I mean, we, we, we're impressed. Problem with it is, is how long we, how long are you going to be able to get them? Like I said, if you're in California places, you can't get them. So therefore, you know, you're, you're going to be doing the water-based thing. So as we evolve through all of this class, and we're constantly working on products and whatever, we'll keep you, we'll keep you abreast. Now this piece behind me just happens to be here where we was doing another segment, but this is some, uh, that's some gloss armor seal on here, on a piece of mahogany and we just did this in a finishing class to show them what you can do and I'm gonna say the same thing I did then it, it, it on camera it's got a really good gloss and it does it's got a really high sheen I mean it's it's high sheen but it's it's a little bit gritty it would need rubbed and that's because oils dry slower this was applied to a flat surface with a brush I'll leave you to deal with that so basically, that's just kind of, I'm just kind of opening this up. So if anybody has questions or, or you have any comments to make, put them on the forum. Let's hear it. You, you know, this is, this is for you. Um, I don't have, a, I don't think I got a board in my shop. Ain't got something on it somewhere. So I've kind of experimented enough. Well, not really, because I got a bunch more I'm going to do. Stay tuned. <laughs>